In today's video, I am going to be doing, proposing the most unrealistic business idea prank. So yes guys, you heard that right. I am going to be proposing the most unrealistic, stupid, outrageous business idea on Regan. I think this will be hilarious guys. I don't know why, I thought of this prank myself. I'm pretty proud of it because I think this is pretty genius. This could be very, very funny as long as we execute it right. So there's going to be a few steps taken for this prank. So first of all guys, I'm gonna need Josh on board with me so he can agree with everything I say so Regan maybe in his head will be like damn this sounds so dumb but Reuben and Josh are so passionate about this business idea maybe maybe I'm the dumb one maybe I'm the one who's, who's thinking about this all wrong and then second guys I need to make a powerpoint for this business idea to show Regan the whole idea of this stupid unrealistic business idea and then third we do this freaking prank so let's call up Josh it is 10 50 most people that's pretty late for Josh he's probably still sleeping because it's the weekend but we'll give it we'll give it a shot we'll see if Josh pits up the phone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to call Josh. Hopefully he pits up because he is a key ingredient for this prank. Hey, Josh. Hi. Is Regan here? Uh, yep. Um, hmm. Actually, hold on. I'll call you back. Okay. <laughs> I was really hoping Rita wasn't near Josh. So I thought about it, used my quick thinking and decided the safest option is to hang up on him. I'm going to send him a text saying, call me back where Reden can't hear you. Okay, I sent the text. I can see him going to Reden. Hey, uh, Reden just called me. Uh, he was acting a bit weird. Yeah, yeah, hopefully he hasn't done that. Hopefully he's put two and two together and realized I'm planning a genius prank on Reden. A few minutes later. Okay guys, Josh called me back. Hello? Hi. Hey, do you see my text? Yeah. All right, cool. So I want to do a prank on Regan. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're on video right now. Okay. But I'm going to need to kind of arrange a bit of a meeting with you first about this idea. So, okay. will it work meeting in the headquarters without Regan knowing? Uh, yeah. So Regan, yeah. Regan has no, no clue that you're talking to me right now? I'm pretty sure he's in the toilet. So. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, I'll meet you in the headquarters right now then. Okay. Okay. Let's go! Regan's in the toilet. Bro, Regan is always in the toilet. I'm sorry, man, but man has to do like five yeets a day, I swear. But off to the headquarters we go. This is working perfectly. Regan's in the toilet. Could He couldn't be in a better place right now, and it's time to go discuss this genius prank with Josh. Let's go. So, we're with Josh. So, Regan has no clue you're here, right? No. We'll stay away from the window just in case. My prank idea is I want to propose the most unrealistic business idea ever mm. like it's gonna be so <laughs> stupid and I reckon it'll be really funny but what so what I want to do is create like a PowerPoint or something and yeah it's just gonna be the most ridiculous business idea ever and maybe about half an hour once I've set up the PowerPoint I'm gonna call up Regan and pretty much say like I want to have like a little meeting and you need to agree with everything in the meeting okay because <laughs> <laughs> we need to try to get Regan to agree with this <laughs> stupid as business idea like I'm thinking something like we're gonna like fly out to America next month quit youtube go into like the makeup industry or something like something really really ridiculous but you need yeah. to like agree with it okay yeah and like in a believable way that reader won't know it's a prank yeah okay, okay. yeah all right sweet so that's that's what i need to say we've got our plan guys we're gonna have a camera hidden down in there and then we're really proud of this one this was actually josh's idea <laughs> but we're gonna have a phone hidden in this little rip in one of the bed mattresses genius and then we're gonna have the big camera just set up over here because i'm gonna tell reading that we're filming straight after this so guys we have had to do a lot of planning for this but hopefully this prank is successful all right guys so i just finished making my presentation it is time to sneak over to the risk headquarters and go and hide these cameras i'm back in the headquarters back with josh and it is time to finally execute this prank so you, this camera is going to be hidden down in there hopefully this works all right guys it's time to call reading and then we're going to make this really quick okay that's the problem is he, where is he? he's gone down his road so I was just hiding behind that curtain because Regan decided to go for a drive. <laughs> Didn't answer me because he was going for his drive. Now what? I mean, we've got a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you reckon he will go for his drive? Half an hour. All right. Well, we've got all the time in the world now. A few minutes later. Oh yeah, I have one more question. Yeah. Why is that camera on? Okay. Huh? Oh, camera. Oh, this one. You're very, very suspicious, Josh. What are you up to, kid? Josh, 
she saw mine and I found out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently you're too obvious, Josh. <laughs> too obvious. <laughs> Is there a recording on there if you find it? Yeah. So what I wanted to have a bit of a meeting yeah. about is I wanted to, I don't know, while, while, while you were gone yesterday, yeah, I was thinking like, what do we do in the future, you know? Yeah. For risks and, I don't know, I had a bit of fun because like I like what we're doing at the moment, mm -hmm. but I'm like, how can we make this better? And I'd made a bit of a slideshow. Except the future of risks. <laughs> Are you going to stay at Josh? Yeah. I came up with a bit of an idea, just like, I, I reckon it could work pretty well. Yeah. But yeah, you don't have to agree with the idea, it's just my idea really. So, fly to the USA. That's what I'm thinking, what do, you, what do you think about that idea? At the end of next term? Yeah. Holy sh**. Or, or like, Christmas holidays. What was that? Whoa. Okay. Uh, oh! That, oh! Yeah. I was not expecting that one. That would be really good, I reckon. That would be... I'm, I'm hoping by the Christmas holidays, yeah, COVID has like gone down. Anyway, so yeah, fly to the America. What the? Yeah, so we've got James Charles. So, do you know James Charles, don't you? Yeah. So, male American makeup YouTuber, 24.7 million followers, net worth of 22 million. And I'm like, well, James Charles. Didn't really know much about him, I'm not going to lie, before, before yesterday, but I was doing research into it. I'm like, damn, he's smart. First of all, there's not many people participating as male makeup people. So, if, if, if we wore just a bit of makeup, you know, well, what? Yeah, just wore a bit of makeup. I know, I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. It's nothing really like what we were doing before. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we just wore a bit of makeup, you know, and in America because they're really low on, on males participating in promoting makeup products. Yeah. So I'm like, why don't we follow James Charles for to get 24.7 million followers, $22 million, like, you know, easy. And all we got to do is just wear a bit of makeup. That's yeah, pretty smart. I'm not really into the whole thing. What is that? I'm That's what like, I think. I'm not really into the whole makeup thing. Yeah, but like, it's a lot of money just for wearing a bit of makeup. Yeah, but I want to actually be doing something I enjoy. I'm not really into that. I reckon it's a good idea. I don't know about that one. I mean, we're sick going to America. Dude, I'm I'm just saying, like, come on, you've got to be logistic. Like, the YouTube channel that we've got at the moment, yeah, it's kind of fun, but it's not actually going to work out. We're never actually going to be able to just live in America just from that. But if we promote male makeup, because there's not much males wanting to do it right now, but I think it's definitely a way of the future. And yeah, I reckon if we just pretty much just follow the blueprints of James Charles. I'm not into that. Plus, he's good at that sort of shit. <laughs> we can have day. That's easy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What do you think, Josh? I reckon it's actually not a bad idea. Yeah, because there's not that many males agreeing. So we're major, you know? I mean, you see there's a lot of money in it. There is a lot of money in it. That's what I'm saying. Like, and a I, big following. I think it's worth it for the followers and the money, if I'm being honest. Okay. Well, what else have you got? Is that your other idea? Wait, you don't like that idea? Not really. Trust me, I reckon if we voluntarily signed ourselves up to wear makeup, we'll be <laughs> with the bed stars in no time. I mean, you wore makeup in shows and stuff. Yeah, exactly! Like, bro, half the people in Hollywood, they're not even like James Charles, but they still have to wear makeup. Like, it's just it's just part of, like, the new yeah, century. Yeah, but I'd rather actually be doing something fun that I want to do in YouTube. Why? Yes. When you can make literally 22 million and 24 million followers. I reckon that's that's, what's the chance of this I, uh -huh. So yeah, wearing makeup equals followers equals money. It's as easy as that. Okay, can we like pass this idea? Do we have you got anything up? I think you got to at least consider it. Yeah, Josh seems more keen than you to do it. Like why I'm like, okay, I think this is genius. Like I'll get Regan on board. He's always wanted to go to America and film and you know get big. And this is a way that like no one else apart from James Charles has gone down. Like you were telling the YouTube for like cause you, you want to do it for fun, right? As well as make the money. I thought so, but then I'm like, actually no, I just want money and followers. Like bro, I'm gonna. <laughs> I want to get big as fast as possible because Doing things like, for fun's not going to pay the bills Exactly Or get you anything nice Bro, Josh knows what he's talking about Even Josh agrees Why do you do makeup, Josh? Why do you be a makeup artist? Because I'm a builder. I've got my job. Yeah, but this makes you 24 million followers and 22 million dollars. <laughs> you are the YouTuber. Yeah, but like, imagine. Bro, but you want to you want to be big on social media, right? Yeah. That, that's what you've said. I'm saying, this is the easiest way to do it. Wearing makeup equals followers equals money. Fastest way to blow it and be rich. All we gotta be is like the next James Charles. I'm not a car. I'm not that. Alright, hold on. Retire at 22. I've done the math. We just wear a bit of makeup. We can be retired at 22. Being in the makeup industry, wearing makeup products as males and promoting it on social media bro we will blow up we've already got quite a lot of female fans like there's so many females who love seeing males in makeup because it's different unique you know i think it's genius <laughs> i think it's genius come on you're f***ing with me eh? i'm not i think it's genius <laughs> no i'm pissed off are you? no bro i'm not i'm not actually kidding yeah i'm not buying it I'm not buying it. Come on. Bro, it's a good idea. I disagree. So, you'd rather just be poor? You don't want to go and live in well, LA, I do. rich and famous? But like... What would you rather, Josh, if you got an opportunity like this? I think you'd be good. Like, I think you could actually promote makeup well. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I reckon you could. Come on. 
Oh, you're funny, mate. I reckon you should. Oh, we, we, should. we should. We should. Imagine retiring in 22. Retiring in 22. Just for wearing a bit of makeup. And you can do all the things you've ever wanted to do. Yeah, it's just so easy. Like, it's literally like a get rich quick, but not a scam. It's like, actually, you can just get rich quick. Like, I reckon it, we can definitely do it. Anyway, how about this? Yeah. If you're so interested in this, yeah. we continue risk, and then you make your another channel where you just do makeup and you show me how it's done. But I don't have, I don't, I don't want to even spend any time on this. Like, bro, we can fly to America this Christmas holiday and just be in the makeup industry, and then we quit YouTube and start a cucumber farm. What the? <laughs> A cucumber farm? Yeah, well cucumbers grow really well in America. <laughs> what? Like really well. Can be heaps of money in there. Exactly. Like we retire at 22 from the makeup, we're making like 200 million a year from that. And then we just retire and have a little cucumber farm on the side. Because they grow so well in American soil. Like while you were away yesterday, bro, I did so much research into like the soils and all that in, in America. And bro, especially in LA, bro, the cucumbers grow so well. And there's not even much competition, like not many people doing that either. And we will actually have the best freaking cucumber farm because of our makeup. Promoting makeup will get us so rich and we'll have the dopest cucumber farm. <laughs> And when you quit YouTube, we should actually just delete the channel because this will make us go big. Like, I want to put all my effort into this. <laughs> I know it seems a little bit crazy. And I thought maybe I was Crazy? Like, this is what it's harder. A cucumber farm. I thought I was going crazy for a little bit. Like, I'm like, damn, this whole time... You I'm, are, bro. This whole time I've wanted to be a YouTuber. And then I'm like, why would I bother when I can just promote makeup and then start a cucumber farm? Yeah, but it's not just going to happen like that. It will. It's not. With the makeup, it will. Yes, that's what no, I'm saying. No, it's not. That's what I'm saying. Why hasn't everyone done it then? Because dudes don't wear makeup. Like, you know, they're still living in the freaking 90s. 1980s, but we're in the 2021 now. Anyone can wear makeup. Would you quit your job and, and do it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, you would. Yeah. No, you wouldn't. The money in that. Bro, 200. Okay, well, why don't you do it? Okay, He's going to do it. You can come. Three. Not. We're going to America. Yep, I'm not kidding. Let's do it. Now it's nothing to Was that it? Was that it? That's all I need. If you don't want to do it and miss out on millions of dollars, I will go and start up a males wearing makeup business with Josh. I, if you want to do that, then... Let's do it, eh? No, if you want to do that, no one's stopping you. You're going to regret it, though. Just do it. Come on, please. No. You can't be serious. For your sake, you, you got it on. Yeah, but this, it's not guaranteed. Like, it's, it, it's just not a thing. It'll work. It won't, but... It will. It's not guaranteed. Yeah, but like, I'd rather just... So, so it's 100% you'd be keen to just go wear a bit of makeup, retire at 22, and start a cucumber farm. I'd rather just... Well, you're retarded. <laughs> of course. Hey, hey. Of course. <laughs> Look over there at that. Oh, you mother... <laughs> How are you hiding there? <laughs> what the hell?